just letting wax melt all over the floor. That's got to ruin the property value. Hey, no one said you could close the door. Uh, let me back in. Let me back in. Let me back in. Hey, the amazing Rando. Watch Rando the Great construct sets with his very mind. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to Conarium. Uh, last episode, we had a chat with the uh, the steampunk Toclofane over here, and uh, I think that uh, raised more questions than answers. Screw it, I'll leave that sentence. So we still gotta figure out. Shut up. We still gotta figure out how to activate that link elevator because that was kind of pissing me off in the last episode and from what I am thinking we're missing something so now remember the quarters that we've identified as our own were found locked and we have to I'm thinking that uh, whatever's in that room is what we need next so if I can figure out first of all where the hell I'm going and then find out where the key is hmm. Maybe, just maybe, maybe we can uh, progress through this whatever the fuck is going on here and get to the next part, because I like this shit, and I want to, I want to get as far as I can with this. So I know the initial response was pretty positive, but what do you guys think of the game so far now that you've you guys have seen episode two? It's kind of intriguing, isn't it? I mean, it makes makes you wonder where are the other crew? Are they around? Are it? Are you just a shadow of your former self, and this is not actually? real it's a head trip that's for sure um what's this professional camp equipments were dis deployed to the underground caverns below the base without any problem also submarines were there are submarines hmm okay Flooded caves? Temple? What are we getting ourselves into? I want to know. This is... This is raising so many questions. There's a lot of dust particles and shit. So... I want to know... What are these? Eh, that's not what I really want to know. What I want to know is can we open this? Tampering with it kind of caused an autosave. Oh, there we go. Hello. Oh my. He Hello, kitty. How are you doing? Can I can I pet you? Meow meow. What is this thing? Ah, it's kind of cool. It's displaying a shadow. What is this? Some kind of plant thingy. Oh my god. Is it an alien face hugger? I'd rather it not. Oh. Oh dear. Oh dear. Was that poison? 
Or are we going to be tripping balls? Oh, God. I'm having an asthma attack. Oh, pollen. Hay fever. No. Whoa. No, the phonograph is going. Who is? Whoa. What? Oh God. The cats don't do that. Is it gonna Hulk out? Should I run? Are you okay? Oh. Wow. What's in here? Yeah, I kind of figured that. Of course, all the good stuff's locked. Ugh. Okay. So, whoa. Why is it so freaking dark now? What's in here? Oh, this is new. No. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, God, am I tripping balls some more? What is this? Whoa. And here I go with jumping into an alternate reality or something. So, um... So, that was different. Oh, look. Everything's back to normal. Define normal. Oh! Hi! Um... Having a nap, or... Oh, God. More of them. Bigger ones. Yes. These are the pre-human species we found frozen in a cave far south of the base. Pre-human? Is this invasion of the body snatchers? So, um Hi dead guy. Who uh, is this? It's impossible to determine with so much decomposition. It doesn't look like that much decomposition. Oh look! While I was freaking out, I decided to check the body for a key. How convenient. I'll take it. I bet you that's the key we need. What is this? I can't read it with the lights being like a, being all dickish like that. We have finally fa finished excavating the monolith that was slightly... Fuck this. Oh, thank you. Okay, we finally finished excavating... We finally finished excavating the monolith that was silently waiting for a soul to see it again. Situated within the circular building, we reached the link... We, bleh, we reached with the link elevator... That magnificent piece of carving was buried halfway down under a mound of debris and most probably could have been written in the earliest pages of history. Where'd the door go? There you are. Hi. I don't know why I get so easily turned around in shit like this. Am I going to be attacked by, uh, by the alien tentacle monster cat? <gasps> it unlocks this? Hooray! What's in here? Oh, I'm tweaking out some more. Hello? Oh, the handle for the link elevator! Huzzah! I'll take that. And... And more of the plants attacking me. What did you say? What? Kill them all, but they're not here. Really? 
Okay. I'll touch you. Gong. That's a lot of dream catchers. Okay. Who said that? Where are you? You should retire to your room. Tell me that you don't think of it more. Why is there a cauldron in the middle? Are you doing satanic rituals or some shit? That looks like a skull. Faust, you are a creepy freaky guy. I don't know why I admired you so much. Yeah, you're a you're a bit of an odd duck. Where are we? Are we in Faust's office? So oh, okay, we're in a haunted house. I'm sure of it now. We've been dead the whole time. Where's Bruce Willis? Haley Joel Osman, do you have a message for me? Can you relay a message for me? I don't know. Hey, look, a chest. Oh, okay. Let's just needlessly explore this uh, decaying old building, which is probably some sort of symbolism. With endless halls. What's in here first? Nope. About here. Okay, this is my only course of action. Don't fall in. Slit and wax melt all over the floor. That's got to ruin the property value. Hey! No one said you could close the door. Uh, let me back in. Let me back in. Let me back in. Hi, guys! <laughs> Lovely night! Hello? Okay. Nice. Lovely. Okay, that was that was a brilliant waking nightmare or whatever that was. Ah. All right. So, we've checked all this out. And now what? Okay, not there. Oh, that's so that was the exit, and it was just shadows were preventing me from leaving the room too early because reasons? That is fucking trippy. I love it! <laughs> Alright, now that we've got the doohickey in question, let's check out the link elevator, eh? I wanna... Now what? Hello? Yeah? Are you stuck in some sort of super limbo because of your infernal tampering with the fabric of reality? Nope. I don't think they can. Well, he certainly wasn't your mom. All right. Link elevator going up. Okay. Go. Okay. Come on. Why is everything so dark? Dark and spoopy. Oh. This is neat. Hello? Okay. It's a very ornate screw or something. I don't know what this is. Oh, that's just... A 
Oh, not again with the headaches. Ah, take some fucking Advil. Hello? What are you? Yes. Wedded into shapeless ruins. However, both the ground level and the cavern systems below are fast reliefs. So I'm just watching the striking features depicted in this grand panorama, I believe, are the tall, occasional towering spires, which somehow resemble a lighthouse. They all seem like focusing a light beam towards a colossal structure in the center. Okay. Maybe. Something that has a more practical use. Hey, you saying religion is not practical? Hmm. That is kind of interesting. Also, what's interesting is the. Hey, is that a pyramid? Egyptians were here first. Um. So. My takeaway from what I just saw was that that was I was seeing a a moment like trapped in time or something like that. It's like I don't know, I watch a lot of Doctor Who, so things like things like that kind of pop into my head weirdly. It it's hard to explain, but the point I'm getting at is that I was watching a shadow of an actual event that happened play out as it was uh, slightly pulled out of its place in time if that makes any sort of sense I don't know so this is the strong light that can be seen from ground level yep is it gonna Give me a sunburn. Maybe I shouldn't stand right in the middle of it. Ooh, what's this? Don't know. But, now we've found an interesting. So, <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Let me know by hitting the like button. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in the next episode. Hopefully, it'll amaze.